This is our C24 studio. So it's a nice little studio, good for mix downs, good for recording big sessions as well. It's attached to the live room. So a big live room with grand piano and various amplifiers. It's also got a 5.1 performance space in there as well. So setting this up, um, first thing we wanna do when we switch this on, make sure the speakers are off so you don't get any strange bunk noises. Okay, we always do that. Otherwise, that big spike will damage the tweeters and eventually you'll find that it's very muddy sounding. Okay, desk is offline because there's no session running. Next, we want to power up the Mac. And while that is doing that there, um, over here we have the patch bay that's attached to two wall boxes either side of these rooms. So one in the far corner of the live room and one in the near corner down here, all beyond the wall, all separated. These are um, patched into the mixing desk. Now we used to call this the rumor requirement. so. We do change the room around depending what we want to teach. At the moment, it's got the C24 desk in. Sometimes we'll put the M32 desk in, so you actually got more inputs. Uh, we may have the, um, the S3 or any other desk. We've got a great big Mackie desk as well that we could put in if you want to go down the analog route. Okay, at the moment, I've got this patched so that the first 16 channels of the desk has got 16 mic pre inputs. Now these come on here and it's patched. So the first eight of the far box is the first eight. The second eight um, go into nine to 16 of the near side box. So we've got one to eight, nine to 16 on the desk here. All these inputs relate to those channel numbers. The meters relate to what's going on in Pro Tools. So it's very easy to get mixed up. So if you line your tracks up with the channels you're using, it is far less confusing. Right, once we've got the screen on, we'll run up Pro Tools. I'm going to use one of George's sessions because it was a, a decent sized session that shows the capability of this room. So in the setup here we have the channels coming in from the wall boxes into the patch bay, go into the mic preamps of the desk, then the 16 outputs from the desk go into the 192 interface down here or the, the Avid HD, depending on uh, which studio you're in. This one's actually got the HD, the newer version. This then connects to a HDX interface card inside the computer down here. That then talks to Pro Tools. So if we look at Pro Tools in the setup, our IO is set up to something completely strange. Okay, we'll talk about these later. So whoever came in here last has obviously copied this out of another studio with a surround setup and they've repatched the speakers to come into left and right. So this studio is really set up for film, in the order for film. Our playback engine is the HDX. So once you're using the HDX, you don't want to be using that on other things. It should be dedicated to Pro Tools. So don't try and do your internet shopping and stuff like that on here. Okay, so if we hit the space bar for our play, first thing you'll notice, it'll start running up. We'll see levels on here, but there's no sound. Good. Okay, so let's just stop that. Make sure we've got no sound going to it. Let's switch the speakers on, that would be good. Okay, so if you can see levels on here, 
look for your master fader. The clue is if there's levels on your master fader and you don't hear anything, the problem's on the outside in your hardware. So first thing, let's switch the speakers on. Let's try play again. Oh, what a surprise. So let's have a look at the masters. We still hear nothing. The master level here has level on and our meters here, but we hear nothing. So first thing that this desk does when you switch it on is it mutes itself. So this, I'm hoping I won't ever have to do this for you, but it's just been a common problem. Unmute the desk as soon when it's powered up, okay? Now we've got sound, okay? So we can use the Pro Tools session as we would in the lab, mixing in the box, or you now have complete control of tracks in here. So if we pick something, all the, um, the instruments that are in here are listed on the scribble strip. Here's, let's have a look at the bass on here. So if I select the bass, we can see it's highlighted on here. And you can see that any movements I make on the screen will actually change the physical hardware and vice versa. So the two are linked. So this is purely a control surface. It's not a true mixing desk. All the sounds come through the interface.